What's up guys, Drag Boss Tim Halston, welcome back. So you've seen this engine a million times. It's the 409 cubic inch 351 Cleveland. Made 769 horsepower, got a cracked head, now I'm pulling it down. But one of the things I decided to do is I wanted to measure the net valve lift. You know, some of the fastest guys out there are designing their cams through net valve lift, not gross lift. Gross lift, this is 744 thousandths. So let's see what the net lift is. Now you gotta remember, you gotta take away stuff like the lash. The normal lash on this engine at hot is 22 thousandths. I always put it at 16 cold. I've been doing that for 12 years. Bob Beach told me to don't bother doing it hot. Do it like this. That's what loss of 6,000. That's a gain of 6,000. So I've always done it that way. The biggest thing that you got to think about this is a cold engine. So as soon as you add heat, things are going to change all around there, you know, but I'm just trying to show you the difference between gross lift and net lift. And then we'll kind of talk about it. So let's measure that. The, the dial indicator is all zeroed up and perpendicular to the rocker arm and at the edge of the retainer. And I'll call it out to you. You won't be able to see the fine detail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 705, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it stops at 9. So it stopped at 709 thousandths. So when you look at that, the, the cam after you take the lash out was 728 thousandths. Minus this at 709 thousandths. And you have what? 19 thousandths. So that 19 thousandths is what? Well, that includes the lash, obviously, we talked about that, which is gonna get a lot more than it is here with heat. Then you have friction, right? The biggest thing, deflection. Deflection of the push rods, the rocker arm, the rocker arm ratio, the valve springs, the valve, everything's moving. It's a dynamic situation. So you're gonna have, instead of having, you know, 19 thousandths, it's really gonna probably be more in the plane of anywhere from 20 to some engines are up to 40. So you have to take that in consideration. There's a lot of dynamics and changes. This is merely kind of just to show you what I have. Now with that taken, with the intake valve at 700 lift and the flow of the heads at 385 uh, CFM, this is making 769 horsepower. So you do the math if you want and kind of see how close it is, but maybe it's time to try a bigger cam. Darren told me it needs a lot bigger cam uh, if it was in the 